Hi everyone, we're Kelvin here. So let's discuss about Biweekly Contest 7. First question, single row keyboard. So we are given a special keyboard with all key in one row. And we are given the sequence of the keyboard, for example, like this one, A to Z. And the second one is some other sequence with all A to Z inside with different sequence. And then we've been asked to type a word like CBA, for example. So they are asking us how much uh, movement our finger should make. Like um, we start at index zero, right? So we st our finger start here. And when we want to type a C, we need to move two to the right and end up at C. We type the C and then we need to type B, B and move um, one to the left. So add another one and type the B. And we need to type A, move another one and type the A. So in total, we need two plus one plus one as the cost. And it's in total four. So second example, um, when we want to go to L, so from here, the zero index, we move to L with a certain cost. And then from L, we type it and then we move to E. So we move to E, we type the E. And next letter is still E, so we type the E again. So E and E require no cost, but we need to move from P to L and L to E. And after we finish that whole iteration, we get 73. So this question, we can solve it by using a hash map to map like um, the letter is at what position in the keyboard. So yeah, we create the hash map to store the character. Uh, 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 let's say a character, what is the index on the keyboard? So we look through the entire keyboard and put that character with the index. After that, we look through the word we want to type, and initially our current position is zero and total cost is zero. So this is the output we expect, and current is the position of our finger initially as zero. And after that, we look through the entire word, each character of each character. So let's say we met a C on the first character. So character of C, the position on the keyboard is two minus zero, so it's two. Right, and we do an absolute because moving left or moving right is always positive. So, total, we increment it by the cost of moving from our current position to the position of that letter. And then, yeah, that is the total being added up. And then the current we move it to that letter. The C letter, for example, is on index two. Then our finger end up at position two, and we do the next iteration and next iteration. After we finish the entire work, we return the total, and that's it for this question. So, yeah, thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.